So very, very soon we're going to be doing a uh, handhold. Um, followed by a one minute silence here on the street. We're hoping it'll go the length and breadth of Canal Street. Um, then we're going to take a bit of time and reflection and then we're going to make our way into Sackville Park to join in the vigil uh, at around about 8.30. Seven hours ago we were still sat around the table trying to work out how it was going to work tonight, what the formula was going to be, if we could get a PA system, could we get a flag flown at half past? Yes, we can. In Manchester we can do anything and we can do it in, in minutes rather than days. It's majorly important because, you know, we've got to stand as a, as a worldwide community um, and say what this actually was at the weekend, which was an abhorrent, homophobic hate attack on, on the gay community. And we've got to stand there worldwide and we've, and we've got to state that fact. When we face this kind of attack on members of our community, no matter where they are, uh, we need to stand up together and face it together. Um, and we learned in the 80s that uh, silence equals death, and it's crucial, therefore, for us all to make some noise on behalf of those people who have gone and on the behalf of those people who can't necessarily shout for themselves. I think, uh, I think what's happened in the, over the last couple of days in the USA has brought it home to roost. Um, I think as a, a community, um, I think we're a little bit complacent that we've achieved a lot over the last 20 odd years, but nobody's mentioned Israel Pride uh, and the people that got shot in Israel Pride because they were gay. You know, we've got to stand up, we've got to stand together as a community, it's important. And let's, let's talk about what this is. This is about murder. This is about murder for people who they are and who they love. I'm really proud that tonight we stand as a strong community to send a message out to the world that we will not tolerate hate, we will not tolerate fear, and we will not tolerate discrimination for the people that we love and for us simply because of who we are and who we love. The Manchester Muslim community, like everybody else, is saddened and shocked by the senseless killings of innocents in Orlando. No religion can condone such ruthless and barbaric acts of violence and certainly not the peaceful religion of Islam. What happened in Orlando was not an act of Islam, but an act of terrorism and hate. This was the most extreme form of homophobic hate crime. So I urge all Mancunians to hold fast together against such violence and hate that seeks to divide and antagonize all of us. Because together, we will defeat intolerance and hate and allow love to conquer. This isn't the first time, sadly, that we've had to come together as an LGBT community or we've had to come together as a city to commemorate lives that have been lost. Global atrocities have happened across the world and every time Manchester has stood shoulder to shoulder with the victims. I will give you, every one of you, this commitment. This isn't a night for long speeches, but I do want to say this. We've got with us Greater Manchester Police. Um, I'm the Police and Crime Commissioner. We will challenge hate crime of whatever source in our the city region because it's not the Manchester way of doing things. We're here to love each other. We're here to protect each other. We will challenge hate crime. We'll challenge the kind of hate crime that grows small and grows into the kind of atrocity that we saw and heard about yesterday in Orlando. Our love must challenge that hatred in our midst. Thank you for being here. You are the ones who love. Thank you.